Hey everyone, so we're approaching the end of April now and the trout fishing season is about to fire up. So I thought I should give you guys an update on what's been happening on Fishing with Rod. So many of you have been asking, uh, so when's the next video coming? And why hasn't there been video um, put up? Uh, well, I was gonna say almost a month, but it's been over a month now. So sorry about that. Um, but the simple answer for that is, um, well, fishing is pretty easy, but filming fishing to produce a fishing video it's pretty hard and filming myself fishing is really 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 hard um, we have been out fishing um, trying to get the video for you guys but uh, a lot of times things just don't work out and I'm not about to just put up a pretty uh, lousy video just to show you guys um, I'm more about the quality not the quantity so I mean I don't I guess I can strap a GoPro camera on myself and just film every time out and just put that up and so you guys can watch that but that's not really what I'm about um, you know these videos we we spend a lot of times producing them and they're meant to be pretty entertaining um, but also I try to make them fairly informative fairly educational so you can actually get something out of them um, so the biggest reason that things don't work out in, th in these videos in this filming is the weather. So the weather has been pretty lousy in March and April. Um, so it's just been raining quite a bit. And whenever it rains, I mean, I guess I can go out and fish, but when it rains, the cameras don't stay very happy for very long. Uh, so that kind of scratches the plan whenever we ske we're scheduled to go out and film and it starts raining. So it just doesn't work out. Um, oh, I'm getting a bite. I have a fishing rod out there right now, so while I'm doing this video. <laughs> well, that's a little interruption. So the second thing is that, the second biggest factor that makes these videos don't work out is the fish. So in the fishing video, you need to have the fish. So a lot of times the fishing just doesn't work out. Um, you know, we try to go out and film and try to plan the right. Um, then the fish just don't bite for the day. And then we kind of stuck. We kind of, you know, almost feel like we wasted a day trying to get what we intended to do in the first place. So those are the two biggest factors. Um, the third thing is just that, you know, filming this, these videos is very, very time consuming. Um, not only the fishing has to cooperate, you know, the camera setting has to be right, the right exposure, the audio has to work out, and also the people who I'm filming in front of the camera, including myself, has to be ready to, um, to, to, to perform. Um, so my biggest thing is that I always want to get the hookups in front of, in the videos, because that's really exciting. Um, that's, to me, that's the most exciting part of fishing. Um, to get the hookups and a lot of times we have the camera running for a long time just waiting for that and just, it can be a very frustrating process. So after the, uh, the videos is filmed, um, I come home and it has to be edited, it has to be put together. Um, I would say in total a 25 minute episode that you see on the website, on, the, on our YouTube channel, um, takes about you know, 40, 50, 60 hours to make. Um, it, it takes a long time to put something like that together, so I really hope you guys appreciate it. Um, with that being said, I'm not, we're not trying to make excuses about not showing you guys more content. Um, what I'm saying is that be, be a little patient. Um, there will be more videos coming up. Um, every time when there's, you don't see any videos on there for a while, um, which means it means that we're working on something pretty hard. Um, there's going to be something big coming out. So last week we did our first family fishing trip on the road um, of the season and uh, we went to Red Lake near Kamloops, British Columbia. Um, the whole plan of the trip was not just to enjoy some fishing time with the family, but we we're also going to do a little um, fishing episode for you guys. Um, but that didn't work out as planned again. Uh, we did get some uh, footage uh, shot. Um, on day one and two, um, and I was hoping to get quite a bit of um, video done on day three because the, the fishing on day two was actually pretty good. Um, but then it snowed um, on day three, and that 
kind of changed the, changed the whole plan. So we actually came home a day earlier. Um, so I didn't get enough footage to put together a long episode. But here, here it is anyway. So I'm going to show you guys a um, roughly around 10 minute um, show just to show you guys what we call that red lake. Um, there's several different species that you can target in that lake. Um, two varieties of rainbow trout and there's also eastern brook, cha, uh, brook trout in there as well. Um, so yeah, so here it is. I'll show it to you guys now and then we can come back and talk a little bit more about some of the other stuff I want to mention for this update. There's a fish. Oh, woke up. So did I. Where's my net? Oh, my net's right here. It's a rainbow, nice rainbow. <laughs> nice rainbow. Good morning, everyone. Panas rainbow. Spoons out. Nice fish. About two pounds, one and a half. Beautiful rainbow. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Fishing with Rod. Um, it's around 6.30 in the morning right now. You can just see the sun coming up in the horizon. And uh, it is really, really, really cold. And you can't tell, but I'm actually shivering a little bit. Um, we're up at Red Lake, just outside of Kamloops. And yesterday, when we got here, it was about 24 degrees and it was really, really hot. It's just beautiful weather. It's hard to um, believe that in the middle of April and the ice is already off and uh, we've already having some really nice summer-like weather. But this morning, um, I think it actually went below zero because there's a bit of ice on the floating dock right here. So I'm just fishing with my ultralight spinning tackle today or well, this morning. Um, using some little Gibbs croc spoon fishing for both rainbow trout and brook trout in this lake the Freshwater Fishes Society BC um, they put in both rainbows and brook trout in this lake and they can get really really big up to five pounds seven pounds um, but the ones we've been getting have been all around one or two pounds which is just fine for me I'm not complaining a fish is a fish so I started out fishing with um, a 3 16 ounce Gifts croc spoon. Um, I was getting a few pecks, but couldn't really uh, hook them. But I could feel that they were pretty decent sized fish. And then I switched to a, switched to a 1 16 ounce. And uh, that's when I started getting fish. If you remember, last year I did a video over here um, as well with fishing, doing some spin casting. Um, and I did get into a couple of fish, but I never landed them. Um, it was quite weedy, and it was in the middle of June. It was quite weedy, quite warm. 
um, so the, the fish got caught in the weed and never landed the fish. Um, so this time we're here a little earlier and it seems like there's more fish around and there's hardly any weed in the lake. Um, so hopefully we'll be getting in to a lot more fish. Here's another bite. Later on, we're gonna go out on the boat and uh, to show you guys, oh, there's another fish. That's a small brook trout as well. So yeah, it's another some small brookie. <laughs> so later on, we're gonna go out on the boat and show you guys fishing for these fish with both spin fishing and fly fishing and maybe even bait fishing um, because it's really a fun lake for the kids to be fishing at. So yeah, this one's a little bigger, a little brookie. And we brought our kids here as well. So hopefully we'll get out on the boat later on. Here you go. <sighs> nice fish. Oh, really, really cold. So we're gonna do a bit of fly fishing now. Um, this morning, or well, late morning before lunch, I came here and uh, fished a little bit with the indicator at around 10 to 15 feet of water and uh, just with a size 14 chronomet, silver body, red rib chronomet and um, caught, got into quite a few fish, nice fish. A um, few brook trout and one rainbow trout. Uh, the rainbow trout was about, I would say, two and a half pound, and whereas the brook trout, one of them was up to about four or five pound, um, which was really a great morning. So um, it's about 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon now. I'm back here again. Um, gonna give it another go. But besides the uh, indicator rod that I got here for, for chronomet fishing, I've also brought my um, my other fly rod with the intermediate sink tip because when I when I brought up the other fish um, they were puking up these big leeches um, so I figured well maybe that's what they're feeding on as well I'm gonna tie up some brown leeches and gonna cast that out while I let this indicator sit out there and let's see See how we do. Oh, that was a oh. Well, that was frustrating. I decided to turn the camera off, and then we finally get a bite. A decent sized brook trout, smaller than the one we got earlier today, but still okay. Alright. Let's get this fishing hooked and then I can show it to you guys. There it is. Nice looking brook trout, around maybe two pounds. So we're just gonna let it go. All right. Fishing has definitely slowed down since this morning. Um, not getting as many bites, but that's still right. Well, there's the episode, guys. Um, so you can tell I was a little frustrated by what has happened during the trip. Um, so you can see in the first part of this, uh, the video, the first segment, um, the video was kind of a little overexposed and you couldn't see the rod properly. Um, so that, that was just me getting up too early in the morning and didn't set up everything uh, properly when, when I started fishing. And the second part of the video that you saw, um, I, I didn't have the video camera on uh, when I hooked that fish, so that was kind of a bummer. Um, nevertheless, it was still pretty fun. We um, caught quite a few fish during the trip, so that's all that matters. Um, just too bad we couldn't put together a longer um, 
episode for you guys to see. Um, but yeah, so but definitely stay tuned for more fishing videos. They'll be coming up pretty soon. Um, there'll be more trout fishing videos um, because that's what everyone's been asking for is trout fishing, trout fishing, trout fishing. Um, and also, I'm finally going to put together a uh, boat video tour for you guys to see. Let you guys see what I'm using um, when I go out in my boat and things like that. So this year, I've gotten a new boat uh, from G3 Boats. It's a 1442 John boat. Um, it's a really nice boat. It's a much bigger boat than my previous one, so it makes things a lot easier. It makes filming a lot easier. It makes um, having my little kid out on the boat a lot easier. So many thanks to G3 Boats for that. Um, so yeah, so we'll have that up pretty soon. And also be going to be showing you guys what kind of components and modifications that I've done on that boat. Um, so it'd be pretty exciting. Um, oh, and the other things we're going to mention is that um, we're almost reaching 30,000 subscribers on our channel. Uh, so many thanks to all of you for supporting um, all the videos, video production in the last few years. And on our Facebook page, we're going to be reaching 8,000 uh, followers pretty soon as well. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, Maybe we might, we might even, oh, there's a fish rising out there. Um, we might even do a uh, prize draw when, when we reach those numbers. Who knows? So stay tuned for that. Um, I've also started an Instagram account. Um, for the longest time, being pretty old school, um, I thought, well, I don't really want to have an Instagram account, but I've been asked so many times. So finally, I caved in and, and got one going. Uh, so take a look at it. Um, I'm going to be putting up some photos that are a little bit more casual than what you will see on Facebook, on our Facebook page and things like that. Um, who knows where that will go. Um, so yeah, so take a look at it, uh, follow it or whatever. Um, yeah. So finally, really want to thank our sponsors. Um, Freshwater Fishery Society BC and Give Start a Tackle are coming back being the title sponsor again this year, um, and also Shimano Fishing Canada. Um, there's also Island the Reels, Pulski Bait. Um, these are all really fantastic supporters of our videos in the last few years. Um, and jumping aboard this year, of course, is G3 Boats. Um, so I'm really looking forward to working with them. Um, we, we don't really actively go out to seek for sponsors for these videos, um, but when we do get one, um, it's one that we, we really believe in, we really enjoy using their products. Um, so it's kind of it's kind of pointless if we if we don't like the products or we don't really want to promote them. Um, but if but these you know if the, if there's products that we really like, um, you'll definitely see them in the videos. Uh, you definitely definitely want you guys to try them out and enjoy them as well. Um, so yeah, I won't ramble on too much and stay tuned for more videos. I promise they'll be coming very, very soon. Apologize once again for the delay and uh, good luck fishing in the, this spring and summer.